Precise aim activated. Locked on. All right, let's see what this uh, precise aiming could do against a Minotaur. Damn, doing pretty good, I would say. All right, Minotaur, where are you? I'm going to hit you, bro. I am going to hit you. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Beautiful. Bye-bye, Knuckles. <laughs> hey, what is going on, guys? My name is Pavloon, a.k.a. Pavloon. And yet again, I think, what, this is the fourth time? We are checking out a Pan-Asian ship. And um, if you guys can see what this thing is, I'm going to give you a couple seconds. This is the lion, basically, in a Pan-Asian format. And this is the Luchuan. L Luchuan? I th I'm going to call it Luchuan. Or Luchuan. Something like that. But um, yeah, this thing is uh, pretty interesting, I guess. Um, it's a lion with fuel smoke. You get the... Uh, Goliath, or uh, what you call them, San Martin heals. You get precise aim, and you get DFA. Um, the normal lion, I believe, only has rapid reload, so this is an interesting sweep of skills, I guess. Um, I haven't tried this much, only one game, and it, it didn't really overwhelm me, but today we're going to try it out live and see if we can do some damage with this. It is um, pretty much the same as a lion. Um, there's not much to change, it's pretty much just the skills. So, yeah, nothing much to say about that, really. We get Elite Gun Operator here, that's what I take. And the Camouflage that we, we believe comes with the ships gives you pretty good characteristics. I mean, at least for your shells, and that is why I went with the Precision Mod, Propulsion and Concealment. Especially these British battleships have a, you know, they benefit a lot from going to detection. You would also run this on the Conqueror, or at least I would if, if it was me. But the Lushuan here, um, yeah, it already has a fuel smoke, so maybe it's too much. I don't know, but we're, we're, I'm going to run with this. For the commander, this is uh, Kao Kao. I, I guess he likes chocolate. I, I don't know, Kao Kao. It, it really looks like cocoa. Anyways, uh, he gives you uh, improved healing and APCS, so obviously that is a really, really good deal for this ship. And we have it spec for Mistweaver Plus. Marksman, Demo Expert, because you can both use your AP and HE with this thing. And uh, we're going to primarily be using AP, but if we are sitting at long range firing at battleships, maybe HE is uh, something we should try out. So, yeah, let's see how this thing does. I'm going to talk to you guys in the battle coming up. Alright, we are in a game here. It's a tier 8 game. And let's see what we can do. There's how many bots? Two bots. Yeah, cool. And uh, I'm just going to say this right now, guys. I'm, I'm not too fussed about these copy-paste ships anymore. I mean, when they release how many? This is the fourth one, and there's still one more to be released. I just... It, it's hard for me to really sell this. You know, it's it's just a lion with different skills and, a you know, another camo. And, of course, if you are a lion enjoyer, if you love playing the lion, which I, I, guess, I guess there's probably somebody out there, and... Or in, if you're from... The countries these ships are from then i kind of un i understand it but maybe wargaming should focus on other things i don't know we talked about this last episode or last video i'm not going to go too much into it but if the gameplay isn't crazy guys that is because i i really just do not find these ships that interesting i did find the meng chong kind of fun but I have a huge issue with it because it's pretty much just an A-gear, and to all the people who have A-gear, you now have a, a I would I would say it's actually kind of better, but I guess some people in the comments thought it wasn't, and I just, I cannot hit my first salvo ever, I'm sorry guys, that was, that was bad. Some people think A-gear is better, I, the reason I think the Meng Chong is a better ship is because you get fuel smoke and you get torpedoes, more of them. And you retain the crazy secondaries without the, the overload skill. Alright, we came back. We came back. It's a, it's a bot, though. Let's go for the um, Cleveland here. He seems to be nice and broadside. We are running APCS, so I think some of you people are probably wondering why you're shooting AP. I mean, AP on these ships is not bad, guys. The the AP on Lion and, and Goliath, I was just about to say. Well, Goliath as well. But uh, Lion and Conqueror, it's actually pretty good. And sorry for my voice, uh, some of you guys may know I am a little bit sick. Um, 
could stream anyways, but it is getting better, so don't worry, people. We are going to be back rock and rolling once again by Cleveland. Let's just smoke up, I mean. What kind of broadside to everything here, bro? What is that? And there's also a Nebraska, I just noticed. I mean, I think Nebraska right here is just free damage, really. So, why not shoot at him? Shoot our, our last precise aim. Um, let's just get them used since we're at long range. Oh, huge. I think APCS is really good for this thing. So, if you have Cow Cow, the commander, I, I don't think he's a bad one to level up since there are a ton of Pan Asian battleships in the final. We have the Sun Yat Sen, the Baji. Now, this thing, I can't, I, there's probably one more I'm not remembering, but he's, you know, everything with APCS is good. Oh, wow, he's taking huge damage. We just got almost 20, or wait, maybe 30k? I don't know how much damage we had already, but we got a lot of damage just by hitting that guy two times. I'm not going to push into Minnesota and Iowa. So we don't have t torpedoes anyways, so. See, this thing would be kind of interesting if they dropped the DFA and precise aiming, gave it torpedoes. Then you would have me. I'd, I'd be like, this is an interesting ship, you know, it's a battleship that has a fuel smoke and can push in and use torpedoes. I think that's way more fun than just, you know, having the same armaments, the same opportunities, and pretty much just has the same playstyle. You just have, it's a little bit easier to play this thing. Because you have your fuel smoke, DFA, and a precise aiming. I think our black lightning is pretty toast. Yeah, he looks to be done. So, Minnesota is pushing away. Oh, there we go. It's Cleveland right there. Can you Can you not? I want to... I want to hit that Cleveland. I don't want to hit the Iowa. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep reversing here because we have four ships barreling down on us. And we, we also have that Nebraska out there who's still alive. These guys are just going crazy for the push here. I'll gladly, you know, shoot you a little bit if you want. Cleveland, there we go. Now, the good thing about this thing, I guess, you do have those San Martin slash Goliath heals. That, the ones that give you 20% more. This is pretty, uh, pretty clutch in a situation like this, I would imagine. We haven't lost much HP, but once we click heal, we're just going to get it all back. Okay, we're taking uh, chunks out of those guys. I guess we're just going to keep going. Hit Iowa, hit Minnesota, hit Cleveland, the two of them, and then whatever Nebraska shows, we're just going to chuck a hit on him. All right, Cleveland's here. I do want to go for him, but I don't think I'm allowed to. All right, let's heal. Yeah, look at that, guys. We are back to 90% after this. It's pretty, pretty gnarly. We're behind, though. We have to get a kill soon. We have to. We, we, we are losing a guy, aren't we? Well, if you see a loss in this game, that's that's just what it is. I'm gonna push now, try to get a kill, and uh, let's see what we can do. We have one minute thirty. If we can take out the the two Clevelands, that'd be actually pretty good. Here's one of them. I'm gonna take out my my dude. All right, let's get that anti-aircraft gun on full alert. All right, let's see what we can do. Nope, that's just so sad. What? Who's this? It's a full health Bith, 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 Bith mark. Bismarck. Oh my god, this hurts. This hurts. Let's turn in, actually. I think it's maybe worth it to go for this guy. He gives the most points, right? Battleships give a lot of points, and right now we have 50 seconds left. Nope, we do no damage. Um, well... Pretty interesting, boring game to say. I think we might have one shot here on the Cleveland. We can take one of those out. That'd be beautiful. We have a heal coming up. No, we lo I lost the Seton. Okay. Well, it's a GG. And here you see the, the beautiful... Uh, Luchuan? Luchuan? Whatever this is. Come on, Asuma. You can do it. No! <laughs> GG. Whatever. 
It's it's a fucking lion. We got 94k. It's it's what it, it's it is what it is. And that's the lion. The <laughs> can you hear me, guys? I I literally just said that's the lion for you. I was about to say that. No, that's the Lushuan for you. And um, yeah. <laughs> that's that was that was a great that was a great game. I mean, we got the battle star. We just lost it. It's whatever. It's yeah. Good job to Oli. All right. So that was this video. Um. It, it, it is a fine ship, I guess. It's a it's an improved version of the Lion. And if you are a f aficionado of Pan Asian ships, obviously this is an epic time for you. They are not bad, these ships. Like, I haven't really felt one that I said, okay, this one's trash. It's worse than the original. So, luckily, they do improve on the original that they copy from. But, yeah, if it was me, I wouldn't recommend spending maybe 50 to 60 euro dollars on a tier 9 premium that you could just get for free you know in terms of the in, 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 in the lion i mean if you look at the ships here they are eerily similar um here it is yeah they look very similar but anyways that is going to be it for my video here guys stay tuned there's going to be one more of these pan asian ships coming out in the next couple of days so yeah i'll see you guys then my name has been bubloon aka pabloon and i am signing out